Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're having our Trump coffee as usual. You should be too. And I uh, thought I would do an update since I haven't done an update on Bison Air Rifles and Parts.com. To uh, show you guys some stuff that I've been working on. Uh, And uh, I think we'll just show a few parts that I've made and see if you guys would be interested in me putting these on my site uh, in order for me to continue. Anyway, we'll put you down here at the bench and show you what I got. So what we have here is a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, we'll start off with the file handles. Now these here file handles are a one of a kind, won't be made no more. Uh, these are going to be a limited edition. I have three of them left because I used one for my file. Uh, got two set screws in them, every one of them. And I've been doing a lot of printing. I've got probably eight of the black. I've got... Uh, about four of the green uh, I think these are sold so let me see how many I got well I got four so these are already sold but you get the idea I'm out of green anyway I'm out of blue and I'm out of red um, actually I'm not out of red but it's getting so brittle, it's getting hard to print. Uh, I was lucky to get that much of the red printed before it started breaking. And as soon as it stopped printing, I went to take the filament out and it was already broke. So it was getting ready to screw up. So <laughs> that's why I only did so, so little. Uh, and as, the further I go into the roll, the smaller the wind the harder it is on it and it just keeps breaking so it's it's like six years old or actually four years old so the filament's gotten too old and brittle so the red red white and blue ones i've got um, three of them that i'm going to be selling and like i said these are a limited edition they won't be made no more uh then we've got the blue, if you want blue, let me know. I'll order some blue and I'll order some more green. And, um, but I've got like seven or eight of these. I've got seven or eight of these. The green ones are sold. And I got three of the red, white, and blue ones. <clears throat> so then, now moving on. Uh, I don't know if I've showed this before, but, um, I don't know if I put these on my site or not. I don't think I did. Uh, I'm not even real sure I showed these yet. But these are for flashlights to mount to the side of your scope. Um, and they got a thumb wheel on them with quarter 20 threads. And you just separate it, put your stuff together. And then you crank it down. And those will be on my site. This is the only one I have. Actually, I have two of them, but one of them I'm using on my gun. Uh, but I've got one of these, and if somebody says, I'd like to have some of these, uh, I'll probably sell these for 25. So, um, If you see these on my site, then uh, they're for sale. And it'll say how many I have. Uh, also, we made a new barrel support for the 30 plus uh, that has three Picatinny rails and a sling stud holder. And we got these I've been printing, so I've got about four or five of these available. 
So we're going to be adding this to the Bison Air Rifles and Parts.com. Check it out. Uh, I've got other parts up there. Um, then I went and I'm going to try my hand at the Picatinny mount clip holder for the 30 plus. Now these have to be sanded to your clip. Uh, same difference as the guns. Uh, everybody's are different. I've never actually seen any of these that were exactly the same width. One's a hair wider and can make it tighter. So you want to fit these to your... And all you do is just take a little piece of sandpaper in there and just sand on both sides of it and trim it out until you get the desired stiffness. Now, if I try to push it in right now, it's going to be pretty stiff, and I'll probably have a hard time getting it out. So, um, you have to fit these to your uh, clips. So, these are Picatinny rail mounts. Uh, I make the thumb wheel with a nut in it, so it's metal. And then you got this little piece that's plastic, so you don't want to be doing a whole lot of cranking on it. Um, with a screw going through it, that can also be removed. So, it helps if I put it in the right way. <clears throat> and... I think this will make a nice clip holder for the 30 plus. So basically, if you was to get the Picatinny rail mount, this would mount on there, just like that. And there you got your mount for your clips to go in so you can put that on either side uh, you can put it on the bottom which i don't know why you would but uh, you could put it on the bottom if you wanted to you could put one on each side so you could come over here and put another one on the other side but it have the nut would have to be upside down but you could do it either way. You, that way you have two. But I don't know why you would want one on this side because unless you're a lefty uh, or a righty. Uh, but this is uh, two of the items that I'll have on bisonairrifles.com. And I've got three of these available. So look for these to be put on bisonairrifles.com. Now I thought about making these. Um, if you guys remember a while back, I did a pimping my Yong Hing compressor and I made all these clamps for the water system to hold the hoses. So I thought about putting these up for sale uh, if anybody's interested in, in these clamps, I can do these in different sizes. Now, I haven't really done these a lot, but uh, uh, it's an idea to put up on the site if you guys was interested. I, I got four of these, and these are four. Um, I think they're like half inch, maybe five eighths hose. I can't remember for sure. But if I do list these, I will have the measurement. So I'll show you a picture of that right here. That's how those work. Uh, just keeps your hoses nice and neat together. Um, let's see, I think that's about it. I uh, do have these here. Uh, long, extra long, four inch barrel bands for the um, 
uh, Air Venturi Avenger. And I made these for somebody and they backed out of the deal and I ended up uh, just having them. Uh, if anybody's interested in these, uh, I'll have this one, which is a limited edition. I won't be making any more of these. And this one here is a limited edition. Uh, this one's just a solid side. It's got two set screws. This one is an open-sided with one set screw, which you only need one. But I've got these I'll be putting up for sale. And like I said, these are the only ones there'll be. There'll be no more like these made. So, I want to take the time to thank you guys for all your support with uh, BisonAirRiflesAndParts.com. Uh, I wouldn't be anywhere without you. <laughs> so, I uh, just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for buying from me and supporting my channel. And uh, we've got uh, some things I've been working on on my own guns right now. Uh, I'll show you here what we've got. Let's start off with the Challenger 357. That beautiful, beautiful freaking gun. Man, excuse me, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, what I have done is this one here was sent to me by, I think, Fred. And we decided to turn this into a moderator for my Challenger. And I just wanted to show you what I did and what this thing's made of. So, we'll put this back up. Now, I don't know where he got this from, but I got it pretty cheap, so... I think I ended up paying like 40 bucks for it. Uh, well, 20 bucks. But anyway, um, I don't know what this originally was. <laughs> now I can't get it open. <laughs> wow. If you got O-rings in there, you got to tighten up. I think. But anyway, this is the end cap, and I threaded it for 14 point or 14 millimeter by 1.0 thread. And when I got these, all these cones were drilled off center. So I had to bore each one of them to the size of the 357. Uh, we've made this uh, three, we made it a thousand on, or two thousandths on each side of the pellet. So you'd have two thousandths all the way, or one thousandths all the way around. So as long as you're going straight and you got it screwed on straight, you'll be fine. But it comes with these cones. You got a cone inside there and then you got baffles on the other side. I think these are pretty decent cones too. Uh, I do believe that this can be used for the uh or be modified for the 45 and the 50 also so it comes with all those and there's one two three four five six of them and then you have the end cap and a solid tube well hollow tube <laughs> solid so, this actually made a pretty decent uh, moderator. So, I haven't tested this yet to find out whether the cones will want to be that way or if you want to flip them around. Uh, we'll try it both ways. So, well, I'll try it. 
but I've got the cones facing backwards with the small end towards the uh, business end of the gun. So I'm, I'm thinking that's going to make a really nice one. So we'll put that back on the Challenger 357. And I'm thinking about um, doing this exactly the same way I did the uh, stock. The only difference is with this the suppressor, I'll have to paint all that jiggly uh, stuff on it, make it look like lightning. So I would have to paint it on this and not do the end caps, just the tube itself. I think that would really look nice because this will be for this gun. And I don't see me taking it on, putting it on anything else. So then we have the 30 cal challenger and it's got a slightly longer one on it this is the one that I made and I don't know why I have stuff so tight I don't put them on that tight <laughs> that's crazy Let me try a piece of this well for some reason I can't get the end cap off Well, we can uh, take care of that, but you want to put something around it so you don't mar it up. There we go. I did not put that on with no tool. So, but this is the Air Mega suppressor that I made, but I made a few modifications or made a modification. And I'll show you what it did. As everybody knows, I think you guys are up a little too high. Uh, I think that you guys have noticed that I take the shrouds off all my guns. Uh, the only ones that have the shroud are the uh, uh, Avenger, and the gauntlets. So I'll take them all off and put my barrel train on it. And I went and made this and I printed out plastic cones. And <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, I put all the cones in it. I put it on, I tested it and shot it one time and I wanted to check to make sure there wasn't no clipping. So I took the thing apart and as I was unscrewing it, <laughs> I could hear it rattling. All these cones, the tops blowed clean off of them, broke into pieces and everything else. So this is not the one that you want to use on the Challenger. So that was a bust. So. I got to looking at this thing and I said, wait a minute. I'll bet you any amount of money that this is the same size as the Challenger shrouds. So I went to both my shrouds and took all the baffles out of them and guess what? They fit. They fitted it. <laughs> So we got all these cones that came out of the Challenger and they fit perfect. And yeah, I've got O-rings on this one. Now I don't know if I'm going to have to put a uh, breather hole in it or not. Uh, we're going to shoot it first because I can, I can add the hole. I can't subtract the hole. Not easily anyway. When it squeals, it's like a pig, right? So, they fit perfect. 
So it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I could have put more in it, but I wanted a spring. So I put the spring in there. Actually, I think I got the spring on the wrong side. I think the spring's supposed to be on the other side. Yeah, spring goes on this side. So we put our spring on it. And that holds them all tight. Get ready for the squeak. I also notice in my videos, my refrigerator is awfully loud in my videos. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else notices that, but, uh, but there is the Air Mega suppressor that I made for my 30 cal. Uh, originally I was going to put it on my, now this one's reversible. This one can be used on any of my uh, guns. It's got half 20 on one side and 14 threads on the other side. So that one goes on the 30 cal. If I can hit the threads. Well, I can't get it screwed on there. I just took it off of there. There it goes. <laughs> So, we got that. Then, I'll show you what I made for the gauntlet. Well, both my gauntlets. What I did is, I took the end cap off of it and I drilled it out and tapped it for half 20 threads. And then I went out and made this piece. Now this has a nut on it that can be adjusted. So I just leave it in the middle. Now I thought about making it just like that, but it was kind of hard to hold it in the chuck and getting it right so I just decided to make it two pieces and then that will thread into this if I can hit the thread well let me try the other side I think I need to chamfer that one side a little bit what the heck happened? Now it won't fit? What's going on here? Wow. And then I put one of my barrel brakes on it. But I'll probably have to remake that nut because I'd like for that nut to be the exact same size as the suppressor. Well, or barrel brake. So I'll probably remake that and make it the same size as the outside of this. I'm also working on another brake that actually slides on the longer version of this uh, that comes out on each side, and I'll show you a picture of that right now.
it comes out on each side and has vented holes coming out the side it's kind of a square like you'd see on one of them big sniper rifles that shoots over a mile so uh it's gonna be fake but it's i'm just uh thinking about using that on uh the gauntlet too because it looks more like a sniper rifle than anything so we're going to try to make it look like a reach out there and get your sniper rifle so that's what i've been working on Also, um, I ordered some uh, business cards, uh, 500 of them. Uh, I just uh, ordered them on Vistaprint. So that I can put in every order a card and on the back, I did both the back and the front. I'll show you a picture of that right here. The uh, back and the front is done. I did thank you for your order on the back. And and then I put Bison Workshop on, is on YouTube and what I do. So um, then I also got a mug they popped one up that said Bison Workshop on the side of a mug. I couldn't resist it. I had to get one. I almost got the cap too, but uh, the mug was like $9.95 or something like that. So I paid more than that one for this one. So uh, anyway, we got a Bison mug coming. So you might see that in a video one day or not. So, you know you will. So anyway, um, that's the uh, stuff that we've, we've got going on. And uh, I'll be going in to list these while I'm editing the video. So, um, look for the clip holder with the Picatinny mount. The 30 plus 3 rail. The Avengers special edition barrel bands and your file handles and the scope flashlight holder so um, don't forget to like share comment subscribe you guys have a good one later